Good afternoon, Potato Heads. It is October 11th, 2016, and I'm here with my friend Patrick Tui, and today we're going to be talking about how to get people to come out to your show. What up, world? Okay, so this is a poster, if you did not know what a poster is. Kids, don't act like the internet is the answer to all of your flyering needs. You need physical flyers. If you go into Google and you type in music, you'll get all kinds of stuff. You'll get radio stations, you'll get record labels, and you'll get guitar stores, and usually all of those places will let you hang up posters. Yep. Okay, if you think that people are going to come to your shows and support your band, if you don't support their band, you are wrong. You still have to be a show goer, even if you are in a touring band, in, in, in my humble opinion. Support local music. Support local music. Um, if you don't, you will probably burn in hell for all the time. <laughs> don't just go to an amphitheater once a year and not support all of the other local music going around. And I guess that segues into teaming up with other bands. If you're a band and you're playing in a town that you've never played before, it is hard to get people to come to your shows. Find a good local band. Maybe they're not as popular as you, but guess what? They still have more fans in their hometown than you have in their hometown. Talking to bands directly and teaming up with them, especially when you're trying to leave your own market, they, they know the people in the area. Lower your pride and ego down a bit too. You know, speaking of other bands in other markets. If you're talking to a band and they're like, hey, listen, there's no way we can get this venue, but hey, you know, let's set up this house show or something. I would rather play a packed, great vibe house show than on a sound stage for nobody. There's nothing worse than having a band that you really like and you want to know where they're playing next and going to their website and it's outdated. Do not slack on digital calendars for people to check out. Yeah, and don't assume that the venue is going to do it. Fans are going to support you if they truly believe in your band and if they like your band, but you got to meet them in the middle and make it easy for them. Using stuff like Bands in Town, as we were discussing before, for your uh, calendar listings, for your uh, tour listings, your schedules, um, really for any kind of upcoming events is really important. Uh, there's other stuff besides Bands in Town like Jam Bass and Reverb Nation. If you update your calendar, it'll have all your shows listed. You should always have an email list at your shows because when a fan goes over to your merch table and they want more, obviously they just saw you play and they are over at your merch table for a reason, they want more. They want a t-shirt that they can wear, they want a CD that they can play in their car. And if you have a little piece of paper that says email list, they'll sign up on your email list. If you have a hard time getting people to sign up on your email list, say that you'll give out a free sticker to anybody who signs up on the email list. People love stickers. You know, and once you have this email list, don't just sit there and look at it. Wow, look at all these fans we have. Use it. More people use Facebook than anything else. Don't get overly dependent on Facebook for, for everything, but I would be lying if I, I was to say that I wasn't on there driving a lot of my social media marketing for bands. Be prepared to shout out some money, and that doesn't mean you're selling out or something. Also, likes don't matter. I just want to throw that out there. Uh, when I say likes don't matter, I'm not saying post likes don't necessarily matter. I'm saying page likes don't necessarily matter. I've seen bands with just a couple thousand likes who are reaching hundreds of thousands of people because they made engaging viral content and they also knew how to stretch a little money along the way. So don't think you need to have 10,000 likes on a page because also working in the 2017, the trend is going to be engagement and reach and shares will mean a lot more statistically than actual page likes and post likes. I'm gonna make another music industry insights video specifically about Facebook and specifically about paid posts or why you're not getting enough likes. So we won't get too deep into Facebook. Today's video shout out goes out to Patrick Tui and The Vault. The Vault is a DIY venue in Syracuse, New York, right on Warren Street. Um, you guys are coming up on your, your year anniversary, right? Do you want to talk about it? The Vault, uh, 451 South Warren Street in Syracuse, New York. Art gallery and soundstage primarily. We do video game tournaments. We have Syracuse Improv Collective, the 
website for all of the forthcoming events is SyracuseVault.com. And of course, you can follow us on Facebook if you so choose. You just look up the vault. Um, and yeah. Links are in the description. Uh, remember to like, share, and subscribe to videos. Throw the vault a like. And come see Half Baked Potatoes October 19th. It's a Wednesday at the vault. It's going to be a great time. Check it out. Take care.